What's up Cities 2 fanatics and welcome back to City Skylines 2. For this how to start your city video I have chosen the Barrier Islands map. The plan is to turn this city into a series and continue growing it as we go along. So without further ado, welcome to Vox Azura and let's get building. All right, so here we have the starting area, of course. This is a North American themed map, by the way. This is how it looks overall. I love the island that we get to play with here. And the cool thing about this map is there won't be any snow. Now, why is that cool? Because it's kind of difficult to build when your whole map is snowed in, but we don't have that problem. So that is really, really nice. And uh, let's jump right in. So obviously the first thing we do want to do is check the direction of the wind when starting a new city, info views, air pollution, because that will give us the direction of where the wind flows. That means we do need to put our industry downwind and the residential upwind, of course, so the residents will not get polluted by the stinky air that the industry produces. Okay, so first thing I want to do here, I'm kind of eyeballing this coastline and wanting to have a key walled road around it without these like little rough edges here so what we're gonna do first thing first is go into the landscaping tool and smooth out some of these edges here so the good thing about City Skylines 2 is the water it doesn't really affect as much as in City Skylines 1 that just means we won't have like a giant wave once we terraform here uh, it will be actually fine so I, I do want to come up here with some more terrain and Create this higher bank here around the uh, the shoreline here. All right, so that so far is looking pretty good. And I think I do want walkable roads here. So let's go into the roads tab, which we have so many unlocked already right from the beginning. Let's go to the pedestrian street. We need to drop the elevation step all the way down and raise the elevation to 3.75. And that I believe will give us a smooth transition to the seawall. Now look at that. We can get up to here. How does that look now? Oh my God, that's perfect actually. Okay, a little bit rough here around the edges, but that's that's fine actually, that's fine. Once we place some buildings, it'll be okay. Now let's go to the terraforming again and let's see if we can actually get rid of some of this terrain work here. Obviously not here. Gotta be a bit more careful here when I do this. The good thing is terrain work, like terraforming is actually free, right? So. <laughs> So no issues um, in that regard to do that. Okay, so that's kind of cool already for the start. Now let's see, when we use some roads now, we're gonna drop the elevation step all the way to the ground, of course, get some straight roads. Simply connect these like so. Okay, some points we will probably not be able to connect because it will tell us that it is in water, which is of course not, but yeah, it won't. It won't work so we're gonna have to play around with that it wouldn't let us connect to here it's okay it takes out the zoning squares here which is actually fine connect to the end right here that's okay so i'm kind of bummed out about these zoning squares but i think it's fine we can get some variety so we can zone some buildings here but we don't have to necessarily zone the buildings there okay so that is pretty much okay let's connect these up like that and that should be pretty good for the start already all right so what we want to do now is go to the medium roads, four lane roads, and continue this road basically all the way up to here. Eventually, we're probably going to make our way over to the other island with this road, which will be our art arterial road. So let's just do that in preparation. And once we can move over there, that should be pretty good. All right, back to the small roads. So now let's see what we can do in terms of industry. I do also want to have sort of the same seawall type deal on this side. So once again, let's go to the uh, soften terrain tool and let's just smooth out these edges and we won't raise this terrain up as much or actually not at all. We'll just see that we have rather straight roads going through here and you know, like all the way up to here. Okay, now let's see what we can work with here. Elevation step again up to 3.75 and then let's see. Look at that. Oh my God. Let's just draw so much. Okay, I don't want that. We also want the straight roads here. So what we'll do now is go back into the softened terrain, try to smooth out that edge a bit more and see if that will 
Okay, perfect. That works great, actually. We'll have one curve here and go back to straight roads and do this sort of thing. Okay, again, no zoning squares here. Maybe we can have some zoning squares here. We're going to work with the terrain a bit. Not like that. Maybe like this? Okay, no, we need more. Okay, there we go. Very finicky, but we got it. We got some zoning squares here now. Also, oh, what I forgot to do, right? Because I do like that. These end points here. Place some roundabouts. That one didn't work out as well, but look how cool these work. How cool this looks. Oh my God, with the lights on even already on the pedestrian roads. So amazing. I really, really like that. Okay, so for this part here, also I do want to have don't be afraid to terraform here. It, it, like, put play, hit play, the water. It'll be fine. It, look at that. It's fine. It doesn't even do anything, basically. That is not too bad at all. Don't forget to also use one-way roads in the mix. Okay, I guess we're going to have a roundabout here as well. And the same logic as we did in the residential area applies to... These seawalls potentially we could have another road connecting here, because why not? Yeah, sure. Looks pretty good, I think. Looks really good. Let's see if we can draw out our residential area as well. I want to be careful with too many crossings, basically, on the... That's a one-way road. I meant to have that. A two-way road. Easy. Replace tools. So I don't want to have too many crossings, intersections here on this main arterial road. So that's why we're going to leave this space and not do this kind of thing. We can do that. It's not a big problem. Uh, it will be. It could be eventually. So yeah, we're just going to be cautious of that. What I want to do here is... Something sort of interesting with pedestrian paths and the zoning of the buildings, right? And I'm not too fond of the zoning squares here, so let's see if we can make that a bit better. Okay, don't want zoning squares here on this road. There we go. That should work out nice, nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this would be the overall design, and now I want to do something a bit more interesting with these walking paths. I do want to have roundabouts, basically, in there, and this can get a little bit finicky to achieve, so you're going to have to play around with that. Once we got the first one down pat, it's not too bad anymore. Ah, uh, that doesn't work. So I've got to lay around with the um, snapping. It's just this one side now. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. And now we can turn on the guidelines again because we can use the guidelines for the previously created roundabout. That'll work for me, actually. That's, uh, that's okay. That looks really good. Let's grab a tree, put a tree in the center here, and let's also grab some bushes and make it look a bit nice. I will show you the finished result. <laughs> okay, man, I really wish we had like a prop line tool, but I think this looks really, really amazing. And now let's focus on the things that are truly important, power and water supply. Now for electricity, I love to go with importing power at the start of my city, simply because that works out perfectly for the start of your city. Once your city progresses, you will probably have to have your own power source, but for now, you can simply connect the outside power connection to a transformer station, and that will give us all the power that we need. Water, I do love to use groundwater uh, resource here, and this, is, this works out perfectly, actually, because the groundwater resource is going to be in the residential area. That works out perfectly because we don't want to pollute this deposit here so now we have water now only thing we need is sewage and we're going to have to go with a sewage outlet which we'll simply place right over here i do do not like these things because they do pollute your water of course so what we're trying to do as quickly as possible get two development points to unlock the water treatment plant which will then purify our wastewater 
we're almost at the first milestone and I think it's about time to do some zoning. What I wanted to do here is have these rows of three by two buildings. And that should give us a pretty cool neighborhood over here. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be really sweet. Okay, let's hit play. These will all spawn in. Let's use the um, the filling tool to actually fill in some more of these areas with some more houses. We also have a demand for shops and for industry. Industry will be in here, of course, and shops will be in here. Now let's see if we can get a bit of a variety in the buildings going here with the shops. I used to love to do this in City Skylines 1 and I love to do it now in Cities 2. Very nice, let's put it on three speed. And let's continue our road network because it simply means that we will be getting oh, more XP points for unlocking the milestones. Very nice. Oh, we do. Wow, we need. We need. We need a lot more shops. And we've unlocked the first milestone, tiny village. Let's zone these shops, and now let's have a look. First of all, the one thing we need to notice in City Skylines 1, as we were unlocking milestones, the speed of the simulation would slow down to 1. It doesn't do that automatically in Cities 2. So if you want to do that, feel free to slow your speed down manually and check out everything that we got. 6, 6, 600,000 credits, 1 development point, 3 permits. We're going to buy a new tile. So good. Loan limit, which I don't really mess with in the game. The interest rates are just too high. Map tiles, of course. We're going to buy some more city budget statistics, medium density for EU and, and North American style buildings. More roads, medium roads. We've uh, unlocked more roads. Healthcare, death care. We need to place that. Medical, cemetery, garbage management, a landfill. Um, so yeah, that is uh, really, really amazing. And they're already... <laughs> They're already waiting for ambulances and oh wow i really like how this neighborhood turned out let's go okay let's go i like it i really like it so let's get the clinic going there it is we need to think of space we need to keep a bit of space in here simply because we have these upgrades which then go into here and the ambulance more ambulances let's just use that more patients let's fully upgrade the medical clinic to take care of all of our citizens even more demand for low density and medium density houses first thing we want to do now or next thing we want to do is actually buy another tile because we want to continue our seawall, key wall, whatever you, how you want to call it. So that we'll need that tile to get access to here. In this area, I think we can go with the medium density um, areas in here. Now, I'm not 100% fond of the zoning squares. You have to see the game prioritizes the roads that have been placed first when it comes to giving the zoning squares, which is why there is no zoning squares here connecting to this road right here, but there is here. Um, so what we can do to counter that, of course, is put down pedestrian pathways where we do not wish to zone. And I do feel like we could zone uh, in the on the pedestrian road. So like that. So let's go with the pedestrian road there and right here. Okay, and the same over here. That should be all of that. So let's uh, come in here and zone now. Let's unpause the game as well. Get a good chunk of that medium density going. That will take care of that demand pretty fast. Yep, and the demand is already taken care of. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Low density housing as well. All right, super, super cool. We also need to put down a cemetery and um, that's a pretty big asset. Oh, but it's, oh. Does fit in here perfectly though, right on the edge of the <laughs> Okay. Landfill. So I do want to be careful because right up here is a patch of fertile land I really want to use. Just gonna be careful a bit with the ground pollution here, but I feel like we could get away with something like this. Alright. Okay, our city is off its feet. It's going. It's going pretty good. And we're getting that medium density demand again. Yo, let's go. And I'm just mass zoning that, just because. I love how this looks. These little settlements here, so good. So good. All right, more shops, which is pretty cool. More buildings, and to get that variety, I am zoning 
each building individually, basically. <clears throat> let's go. More commercial demand, which is kind of cool. Oh my god, small village, let's go. Rewards, let's go check it out. One speed, 700,000 credits. Oof. Development points, two. Let's buy that water treatment plant. Expansion permits, four more. Loan limit, again, taxation. We can tax the people now we can adjust the taxes more medium density u and na uh, education schools we got schools let's have a look uh we've got water treatment plant and from the roads i think i'm going to go with the advanced road services so we have one more point okay cool let's be careful let's um put that water treatment plant somewhere maybe on the island i cannot connect to here oof that's a bummer Maybe if we take out this roundabout. I think I need to raise this road already. Maybe that'll work. Let's see. And we can put the roundabout back in. I don't want this connected anymore anyway. So let's simply oop, do this. Let's go water treatment plant. In terms of upgrades, yeah, okay. Need to leave some space. And now we can take out the polluting. There we go. And that should give us sewage treatment. Very, very nice. Oh my God. I am loving this so far. This is really, really amazing. Okay, let's get some more houses in here. And of course, some more roads. I did want to expand on that. Uh, seawall so let's see what we can do here first of all only up until the bridge and let's smooth out that terrain up to 375 meters so how is that that is not too bad grab these roads now drop the elevation step back to zero connect connect what roundabouts oh my god epic epic once we unlock parking spots, we can have parking spaces here because this is a pedestrian road. So we do want to have, like cars shouldn't be able to drive here. I think they can turn around here in the roundabout, but they're not going to drive on the pedestrian roads. They shouldn't. And we could also put some shops in here on this pedestrian road. We'll also get it a bit busy with pedestrians. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is really, really cool so far. I am loving this. So we could go on forever and ever and ever but i think for the start of a city this works out pretty good for us okay so this is where i'm going to leave you guys off if you want to talk about this video or city skylines in particular highly recommend you join the city of friends discord it's a joint discord i run with five other amazing builders slash content creators we're usually there and we love to talk about city skylines or content creation in general now if you want to know all the things i do love about this game highly recommend you check out this video right over here thank you all so much for watching have a great rest of your day and please Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.